Started. Allow me to present Jenny with a gift from Lil Wayne that what? was sent to me with my gift from Lil Wayne. No! Yeah. No! Are you serious? This is the best day ever. There you go. Oh, that's true. Oh my gosh. Sure. You guys. Are me and Lil Wayne best friends? This is incredible. <laughs> yes. Wow. I got mine on. Yeah, Shannon always uh, By the way, on. Lil Wayne did enclose a note really? in the two gifts that he sent to <laughs> pretty, pretty me. Safe. And I'm going to read that note. Okay. Dear Skip, I wanted to give you and Jenny a little something to thank you for having me on the show so often. I also sent Shannon something just so he wouldn't feel left out. <laughs> well, that's how it is. And the inference was that, that ours were a little better than his. Hey. I mean, can you say cubic zirconia? <laughs> can you say that? I don't know. Can you say that about Shannon? Come on, Wendy. You gonna do a hug like oh, that? Oh, come on. This is the nicest gift I've ever It is. Seen. Thank it's you, really Wayne. Nice. Well, Wayne, really thank nice. you really so nice. much. Wow, can he come well, on the show every day? Yeah. That was really special. I feel... Uh, Really part of the family. Hey, how you doing today? How you feeling? I'm man? good. You uh, like our gifts? I, I love them. I yeah. love them. I mean, uh, you know, he said he had a little something for y'all, but you okay. know, okay. he had to take care of them first. Okay. So okay. Okay. Oh, okay. But you, you know, the day is kept. The day is August 22nd. Mm. The day is my sister's 59th birthday. Oh, no. happy birthday. Happy birthday. Sis? Your name is not Olivia. Your name is mm. Libby or Buck. She's telling everybody <laughs> her name is Olivia. Her name so, is Buck. So she's younger sister. Ah, you are the other one. I'm the youngest. And look, every bit of 42. <laughs> well, happy birthday Thank to you. her. Yes. That means we're going to have a good day. Here we Thank go. you, Lil Wayne. Right, bro, oh. We have a packed uh -oh. show. Let's get on with uh -oh. it. Should the Eagles mm -hmm. be concerned that Carson Wentz Ooh. might not oh, play in the preseason? Yeah. It was Zach's rookie year. A fluke? Oh, that hurts we'll good. talk about it first. We are going to start with the GOAT. Pro Football Focus ranked Tom Brady as the number one starting quarterback heading into the season. The Patriots also remain the betting favorites to win the Super Bowl, according to our friends at Fox Bet. But at 42 years old, many are wondering how much more Brady has left in the tank. His contract makes it easy for the Patriots to part ways with the quarterback after this season. And remember, he's also put up his Boston area home on the market. ESPN's Adam Schefter said from the outside looking in, this has the potential to be Brady's final season in New England. Brady is expected to get his first and last preseason action tonight as the Patriots take on the Panthers. So, Shannon, do you think this is Brady's last year in New England? Skip, I do, and I've kind of said that all along. I really felt that 20 years, I didn't say it was going to be his last year playing NFL football, but I felt it would be his last year in New England. Mm. And there are a lot of indicators, and, you know, I didn't, at the time when I said this a couple of years ago, Skip, I didn't know anything yep. about going to put his house in the market, obviously. But I just think the biggest indicator for me is that Tom Brady has made it abundantly clear he wants to play until he's 45. Uh, Mr. Kraft, who owns the team, has made it abundantly, abundantly clear he believes Tom can play till he's 45. Mm. My only concerns were, most well, not concerns yet, question was, mm. if you believe that and Tom is still playing at the level that you deem that's high, goatish, why would you only give him an $8 million signing bonus on a $70 million extension? Mm. You could have easily given a split the difference because normally you get 50 anywhere between 50 to 75 percent of your money guaranteed but he only got eight million dollars so basically you gave him an eight million dollar bonus this year on top of the 15 million that he was already making now skip you know i don't want to sneeze and say 23 man I ain't. but cons considering what the quarterback market is going for now and who tom brady is you know good and well they should have given him mm. 35 40 50 million dollars they give him 50 million dollars i'm not gonna be like i can't believe tom brady making 50 million mm. Because I think he's deserved, he's earned it. Mm. And if you believe what he said to be true, that he wants to play until he's 45, and he's going to continue to play at the level at which he's playing at, why wouldn't you do that? And then when you start looking at, look, obviously, Skip, a serious injury, something happened like that. And I'm not, hey, I don't normally do this for anybody, but I don't want to see, I don't want to see him have to leave because mm -hmm. of a premature in injury mm -hmm. if he wants to continue to play. But I just think there are signs that indicate. Uh, and I thought this would have been sped up had Jimmy G stayed. Okay. But clearly, once the Jimmy G situation was resolved by Mr. Kraft, mm -hmm. I just believe Coach Belichick went back into the draft, found him a quarterback that he likes, 
Jason Stidham, mm -hmm. and he says, okay, Jared, Jared, Jared Stidham, yeah. mm -hmm. Jared Stidham yep. and he says, okay, Josh, coach him up. Yep. Because, Skip, for me, I just, and you and I both believe this, yep. that Coach Belichick believes in his system. He believes that he can get any other piece. I don't care what position you play, what side of the ball you play on. He believes that he can go get him a guy and fit in and never miss a beat. Mm -hmm. So there are indicators, and I feel that this is his last year in New England. Mm -hmm. So, Jenny, I think we have some revisionist history oh, going on across the table about predictions that have been made, things yep. that have been said on this show yep. before. What did I say? And I think somebody is revising what somebody has said before because somebody across me, if memory serves, has predicted for three straight mm -hmm. years here on Undisputed that mm -hmm. this will be Tom Brady's final season of football. Oh. But somebody has now revised that prediction mm -hmm. to include, well, gee, it it might not be his last season of football, but it will be his last season in New England, says Shannon no, no. Sharp. I said it was going to be his last year in New England. Now, he might have to go somewhere else and continue, but I said— but I don't recall. Th this is a new twist yeah. no, no. to the plot on your part. Well, I had, I, was, I was sitting pretty <laughs> until, until Mr. Kraft made Coach Belichick get off Jimmy G. I would have been right, Skip Bayless, and you know it. Okay, but— you, you you were saying this is it for football for Tom Brady, so you would have been half right, I guess, but he would have continued playing football yeah. elsewhere, yeah, I correct? Still gonna, I still believe he's going to continue. Okay, and so you, here's what you're telling me. Okay. That the quarterback who, and by the way, yesterday you were all for pro football focuses ranking of Dak Prescott at 17th. You said they got that dead right. Dead right. Right, mm. right. Okay. Now, can we say they got it dead right that Tom Brady is number one? On the list, Tom Brady, going into year of uh, age 42, really? He's number one on the list? How about list? this? I can see why they put him number one on their list for the simple fact, I guess they took a lot, uh, a couple of years of data, but he wouldn't be number one on mine. I would have my homeboy number okay. one. Okay, but, but, uh, so which way is it? Did they get it right about Dak and wrong about Brady? I, just, well, okay. I, I tell you all the time, two things can be true. They can okay. get one right and one wrong. Okay, but let's look at their breakdown of Tom Brady, and it was very objective. It was almost overly objective because they also agree with you that he took a step back last year. I did not see that. I especially didn't see that in the post. So are you agreeing with me or you agree disagree okay, with it? But their takeaway line on this, expect more of the same from Tom Brady in 2019. So if we can project from this that we're going to see pretty much the same Brady we saw last year, the same guy who beat Mahomes twice, beat Aaron Rodgers, won at Chicago, do I need to go on and on, had the number one seed sewed lost up until Mar Bill Belichick blew the game at Miami. But that's the same guy that lost to Marcus Mariota, lost to Matthew Stafford, that, that guy. And he somehow rose above those losses to have them in position to have the one seed last year until Belichick allowed the Miami miracle at the end of that game. Oh, that's Coach Belichick, Paul. Huh? Well, it's called a miracle. The head it's called coach? a miracle. Well, does he not preside over the special teams, right? Okay. <laughs> so the point is, this guy who's ranked number one by Pro Football Focus, and they are predicting he will have just the same kind of year he had last year in which he won the Super Bowl. His team is now once again favored hmm. with no Gronkowski to win this upcoming Super Bowl, that that guy is going to somehow fail to the point that that Robert Kraft will agree with Bill Belichick, it's time to cut bait with Tom Brady. Is that what you're saying? That's what you're telling me. I said it. Okay. And so we look at the schedule of the New England Patriots, and I told you back before the draft, back in early April, it was after Gronk had quote-unquote retired. We don't know if he will stay retired the whole year, but I looked at the schedule, and I said, this is easy by New England standards. So, again, are the Jets better? Yes, they're better. Have they had a couple of big losses in their linebacker war here the last couple of days? Yes, they have. Mm -hmm. But are they a better all-around all football team with mm -hmm. Le'Veon Bell? Yes, they're a little better. Mm -hmm. Are they good enough to unseat New England in the division? Uh, no, they are not. Is Buffalo better than they were? Yes, they're yes. better. Their quarterback's one year more experienced, mm -hmm. and he does have some capabilities. Mm -hmm. Are they good enough to win a game against New England this year? No, they're not. Has Miami taken a step back in the division? Yes, Miami has taken a step back with the new head coach you who used to be under Bill Belichick. You don't like this? I thought you liked this magic. No, I mean, I mean they're, again, <laughs> do you? No, okay, you already know, I don't. Can they win a couple of games here? Right. They probably will. But the point is, 
I stick by what I said. I believe that New England will lose to Pittsburgh in the opener at New England because I like the Steelers this year. And then I, I got them going 13-3, and three, and maybe it could be better than that because I just don't see anything dangerous on this schedule. And the two that like the what's the most dangerous game for New England every year? It's the late season game at Miami. Right. That's always the nemesis for Tom Brady. They get to go to Miami week in week two. Mm -hmm. So they will be coming out of summer in New England. Hot, drippy summer, just like it feels just like Miami to me. And then they get to go September 15th to Miami. They get that out of the way. Guess who they get to finish with? At home against the Bills and the Dolphins. You like well, that? Let's give you a look. You are. You, you, we can look at the schedule all we want to, but you also know that there comes a time that get teams that you think's not going to be good will be good, it's and possible. teams that you think that's going to be good will be bad. Okay. Uh, but for me, Skip, it, the, you said the article started off said he took a step back. Mm -hmm. Well, if you took a step back in 2018 and you spent.